Hi folks. In the first video, we tackled some pretty immense problems when it comes to essential city services. At one point, my city was on the verge of financial collapse, and we've only just started to make a dent in the traffic flow percentage. So now it's time to get down to business and fix that traffic. So make sure you are fueled up and ready to go, because it's time to get right back into fixing that traffic before we run out of time. So let's get started. Smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so that you don't miss out on great tips on how to play City Skylines. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up so that other city builders will know that this is a video worth watching. Or just give it a thumbs up for yourself so you'll always be able to go back and watch it again if you need to. Okay folks, we're in the home stretch of the fix the traffic scenario, so we either gotta crush it or lose it. So where are we? Let's just pause the game. And let's just check what our goals are and what our status is. So to win the game, we gotta get a traffic flow over 82%, not at 82%, over 82%. We have a population over 35,000. We're at 38,000 now, so we've done that. And we lose the game if we're under 25,000 population, so I think there's no danger there. But here's the thing, we lose the game if we play 200 game weeks and we don't achieve our goals. So it's time for drastic measures. We gotta crush it or lose it, we gotta put the hammer down, do wild ideas, do whatever it takes, we gotta make this happen. So let's go. We'll go back this way and we'll make that. Something's in the way. Okay, now hopefully nothing's in the way. There we go. And I'm gonna take a chance and I'm gonna bulldoze that. And see what happens. If you're going this way, you cannot get into this industrial area, and that bothers me. So let's fix that. Can't get into the industrial area from this direction. The traffic isn't that bad, so let's just make that something just a little bit better. There we go. And like that. Although the two lanes one way works. I think it's getting a little overzealous. And perhaps a little road connection over here would help. I know I'm tinkering as opposed to doing massive planned efforts here, but tinkering can be good sometimes. Yeah, this is not doing well at all. So I need another connection to a highway from here and another connection to a highway from over here. So let's fix that. over here we're attracting quite a bit of traffic to the point where that ramp is already starting to build up wow 60 percent so we're making some improvements i got a lot of traffic backing up here so that really should be a two-lane ramp Still bottlenecking. Oh, it's doing that turn thing again. Okay, stop. I thought we fixed that. In fact, I'll really enforce it. Oh, I made it four lanes. That's why it's brand new. Now hit play. Mm 
make sure our lanes aren't banging into each other. We have good lane balance. We have four going into four. So that should work. And all of a sudden my traffic disappeared. Where'd they go? So over here, this traffic is pretty well non-existent. Why are they kind of despawning over here? I don't know why they're doing that. Okay, this is a little bit eerie. There doesn't seem to be anybody taking this ramp. So the question is, where did all that traffic go? And they're not built up down here right now. And actually, things are starting to clear out on these ramps all the way around. Okay, still a little bit red here. Could probably make that a right hand connection and avoid the weaving here. So let's do that. Eliminate some weaving. And I might have to blast through there. So this configuration here is looking much better than when we started, that's for sure. Yeah, we're up to 64% and this area here is pretty green. So I think for the moment that's not our biggest problem. We have bigger problems here and here and here. Let's go back here because this we got to fix. So perhaps I got to rethink just putting a standard T intersection in. All of these intersections down here just look stupid. While I'm here, let's just get rid of some of these. They have no continuity, they have no rhyme or reason to it. So I'm thinking get rid of that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah. And that one. My population is still taking a hit, but gotta work on the traffic. So let's fix this intersection up again. Yeah, this looks really ugly. I guess planning on the fly sometimes doesn't work that well, does it? Well, we're getting there. Okay, I've got the game on pause because I don't want to lose precious game weeks because we're coming down to the home stretch here. So I've got it on pause. Like, if you look here, I got more roads than anything. And it's kind of hard to believe that I'm not hitting the numbers I should be. But. Let's just take a look at the traffic and find out where the hot spots are. That's green, that's green. Okay, now we got a new hot spot over here. So this little arrangement here we gotta fix. So a quick way to do a fix is to just widen the road. If we can do that, I think I've already widened through here, but let's just check. We can certainly widen the overpass from two lanes to four lanes. So let's just widen it to four lanes. That's an easy, quick fix. Oh, and it won't let us do it there. Why? Because we've plopped something right at the intersection. Let's just find out what it is. It's a biofuel bus depot. Let's relocate that. It's gonna cost me some bucks, but I gotta do it right over to there. Okay, now I can widen that. Back to a four lane road and just widen that out. And let it play for a bit. And let's go back to our traffic. That's green. A little bit of red here, a little bit of red there. Well, again, let's try the widening technique. 
I'm at 74%. Let's hit pause. Again, every week is precious. Time is precious now. Look at that. It went down to 71% in a matter of seconds. So it's quite volatile. So I got to, maybe I can make that a two lane ramp and make that a wider road. It's a quick fix, but I've got to do anything I can. We're in the home stretch and we got to make it to beat the fix the traffic scenario. Well, once again, that means there's something in the way, and oh lordy, that is a cemetery. So I'm going to try to, for both these cemeteries, they're in an awful place. Let's just empty and empty. And I'm going to build two cemeteries somewhere else to make up the difference. Where's a good spot? I got lots of room over here somewhere. Although it's a little, the terrain's a little bad over here. Well, you know what? There's a flat spot right here. And I don't think cemeteries mind being in an industrial area. At least I hope they don't. Because I'm going to put them just in a little area like this. And maybe just make some connectivity here. Oh, it won't let me do that. Every time I try to do something that improves connectivity, there's some object in the way. Oh, a police station. So if I relocate that, I could probably put it there. Okay, and what's that? It's a coal power plant. Do I even have to relocate it now? No. There we go. And let's put a couple of cemeteries because I'm going to need them. I'm going to put maybe three. And that should more than make up for, ooh, that cost me a lot of money. Okay, that should more than make up for the, the two that I'm emptying. Now I've got a money issue. Okay, let's go back here. These are emptying, which is what I needed because I got a little hot spot right here. And I got to fix that, which I can't do until they're emptied. It doesn't tell me how long it will take to empty it. And the reason I'm interested in that is time is everything. So let's just hit pause. Again, we'll just check. Okay, only one game week went by. So that's not too bad. All right, I've got this funky looking interchange here. I've got basically a half diamond interchange here. I've got a whole bunch of ugly little roads, but you know what? They're pretty well working. They're green. Except for right over here, I got a problem. What happened? I got a lot of traffic right there. And I think I've already done the trick of widening the road. Yeah, what I could do is make it eight lanes. And I know that's kind of wonky, but I'm just trying everything I can to get over 82%. So like really I got to hit 83%. So this may seem a little wonky. It may seem a little haphazard. I'm trying everything I can at this point to simply get to the numbers I need to get. So that means sometimes I'm going to do things that are just a little off kilter or maybe a little weird. So now that's green. And to my surprise, I've dropped to 69%. Like what is happening? Okay. So here we have some problems. So this road here is one of the only, I'll call this east-west, is one of the only east-west connections I have. Actually, that's not true. I've got one here and one here. But that one is getting bogged down. So we got to find a way to relieve traffic on this road and at this connection here. No, I mean, that one connects to the roundabout, but that there is probably one of my biggest problems right now, especially that little section right there. So let's just zero in and see what is going on here. So we got intersections that are very close together. That's one of our first problems. You know, let's get out of this mode. So we've got one, two, three. 
you know, do you really need all those roads connecting here? So this road is green, this one is red. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take some connections away. And hopefully what that will do is relieve some of the stress that's on that road. All right, now we got something down here. What is that, a park? Okay, let's get rid of that and click on that. It is a small playground. Let's move it. And it costs me to move it. Well, of course it does. Everything's going to cost me money. Can I move it somewhere where they'll be happy about it? Maybe right about this neighborhood over here. Let's get some more people happy about where they live. I can put it right in the middle. There we go. Okay, we moved that out of the way. Where was I? I was right around here. Oh yeah, and I was taking connections away from this road here. And hopefully I'm not busting up any bus routes, but we can check that in a second. I don't like having the battery type roads where they just end. I don't think that's good for traffic flow. And I'm going to just check my bus routes. Okay, so I don't have any bus routes here. Oh, get rid of that. So I can get rid of these connections right here, I think. And probably by getting rid of these connections, I'm going to stress out something else. But we'll find out. It's that, an elementary school. We're just going to move you there. So you're out of the way. And again, I'm going to make a connection here to here. That didn't work. There we go. And hit play. Oops. And we'll go like that and we'll see what is happening. Okay, it's starting to go up a little bit. Not as much as I wanted. 71%. So how do I get that? Oh, it's not a problem. I gotta get traffic off of this road. So these intersections here, I just hate them. They are way, way too close together. So what I'm going to do, this is the main entrance to the road. I'll bet you if I make some changes here, it's going to bung up some bus routes, but I can hopefully fix it. And I got to get, you know, this back to back to back to back intersections is not good. So probably what I need is a flyover and a flyover. Let's try that. I wonder if I can fit that in. And now all the traffic's coming down to here, and guess what? That will turn red. If I sound disappointed or despondent, it's because, yeah, 70%. When I do one thing, it backfires and bites me somewhere else. So maybe I don't need all these one-way roads. Let's fix that. I'm not sure they're really advantageous. Okay. 
There we go. I mean the roundabout, certainly. And the roundabout, again, is going the wrong way. Well, it's the right way if you're in Britain, but it's the wrong way if you're in North America. Oh boy, 70%, you know. Okay, once again, let's pause the game, check our goals. We're 35 game weeks away for either making it or not making it. So I gotta think about what other things I can do to improve. I made a connection over here. Got a brand new interchange over here with a very simple connection just to offload from over there to over here. Same thing here, another connection there. So that basically here you have to go to this interchange. Well, I'll call it an interchange. Or you got to go all the way around this way. So let's just take a big bird's eye view look here at my city, which has lots of roads. We got lots of buses. I could build subways, but subways are expensive and I don't have a lot of money. That might be what I need though. Maybe the ticket is subways. So for example, a subway going across this way or a subway going across this way. Or how about a whole loop? But I am kind of low on cash. Well, let's just try it. Let's see where our see where our folks are coming from and going to. If this were my city, I would be completely happy with it. Um, you know, there isn't that much really, really wrong with it. Traffic flow is 73%. You know, that little leg there, I really wonder if I even need that. So let's do a little experiment, and we're going to take that right out. Oh, let's leave that in because that was helping us. I know it's boring, but it's easy, and that is to simply widen some roads. I can afford it, and I think it's helping me, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. So we widen that.
junctions. Yes, you don't need traffic lights at every single intersection. Why didn't I think of that before? We can toggle traffic lights. I think that'll help that road. So let's do that. Let's go down here and we're going to make these stop signs. Alright, so let's remember that one, adjusting the stop control intersections. I should have thought of that a long, long time ago. We're at 71%. Hit play. Things are getting worse, not better. My traffic management efforts. I gotta relieve this intersection of something. Do I really need that intersection right there? I don't think so. I know there's a bus route that goes down there, but still. Get rid of that. And go to my bus routes. I'll hit play and it won't like me. Well, after a while it will... Well, you know what I can do? Make that one way in. Where are these guys going? They're going all the way over here. What? Unless I go straight up, that's it. Let's do that. So from here, I'm going to go straight up and around and connect that industrial section. There we go. So now, if you're coming through this roundabout, you don't have to turn left. You can simply go straight up and through. That should save me a lot of problems. And what I could do is try to go no trucks here. I wonder if that would work. Because I got a lot of trucks coming over here. So now this is really opened up. But now this is clogged up. So I'm thinking of going back to my regular unspecially timed intersection or give these guys more time for green time. So let's give them more green time because they obviously need it now. Yeah.
doing a lot of time micromanaging intersections, which I'm, I'm, it doesn't cost me any money, but it's costing me time. Now, meanwhile, my money's going up, and I'm thinking it's getting to the point where it's time to build a subway. Oh yeah, I've only got 25 turns left to smarten things up. So, let's let that intersection play itself out. In the meantime, I'm going to start putting a subway section in, or a subway line. Subways are expensive. <laughs> And I don't have any money left, so I'm going to have to let the game play. I put the subway stations down, but I don't have any money for the subway lines themselves. 25 game weeks left. Wait till we get some money and we'll start building some more subway lines every chance we get. Let's check our other services. Electricity is wonderful. Water, yeah. okay. All right, so let's start building some subway lines. Oh boy, we have 14 turns left, and that's it. So maybe what I could do is set up a route now and then keep building. So let's just set up a subway or metro route, and we'll just go from one end back to the other. It doesn't cost me anything to set up a subway route. And then we'll go back. And then of course if we have to, we will. If we get the opportunity, we'll change that. Let's slow this down because time's going by way too fast. So, so far I'm not seeing that subway route yet. And just see them getting going now. And theoretically, they should take a lot of traffic off this route. Boy, we only have 10 game weeks left. I don't know that my strategy is going to work. Yeah, I'm going to run out of money before I can build this subway station or this subway system. What else can we do? Two intersections close together. We definitely don't need that. So, which one would be good to get rid of? Probably this one. They have access here, they have access out there. Make it a nice neighborhood. Let's... that one. Yeah, let's get rid of that one and that one. Edge me up a little bit. Somehow something got cut off there. I don't know what happened. So let's pause it and find out what happened to my bus route. Oh.
There we go. That doesn't even need to be there anymore. Oh, got to fix that. Seventy four. We're nine percent away. Okay, maybe ten percent still. We're that elusive. 10% away and I'm just trying to pull my hair out here trying to figure out what to do next well that's certainly a busy intersection there you're gonna have busy intersections in any city this is the part where I complain that 82% or over 82% is just way too much to ask I have nine game weeks left and I'm at 70% so I'm off by 13% I need a big game changer here. We have nine game weeks left. Well, we're at a critical point. We have eight game weeks left. We are only at 71%. Getting higher seems to be quite elusive. So I think that's what we're going to have to focus on. What am I going to do with the eight short game weeks I have left? And that's the problem I have to fix. I've got eight game weeks left to go up by 12%. So I got lots of room to actually reduce population. Boy, I wish I had enough money to connect that subway line. I think that might be the answer to my problems. Anyway, when we come back, let's focus right here. And then if I can, complete the subway line. Well, folks, my goal was to crush the fix the traffic scenario in this video, but maybe it's crushing me. I've used transit to reduce the vehicle load. I've widened roads and I've relocated cemeteries. I've used transits such as buses and metro. I keep using my favorite mod, the Traffic Manager President's Edition. I've used TMPE to manage intersections, keep those signals optimized, and control which lanes vehicles use. What else do I have to do to beat this scenario? Well, if you want the answer to that question, you're going to have to watch part three of this video series, How I Beat the Traffic Scenario. Because folks, I'm not going to give up. In part three, I will in fact beat the scenario. And you might be surprised by the way I do it. But there's only one way to find out. And that's I'll see you in my next video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button and click on the bell. So you don't miss out on great tips on how to play City Skylines. Click on that box in the bottom left hand corner right now to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love. This video was selected just for you by YouTube. And they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on the box now, sit back, relax, and watch another video.